Astronomy Today. The widening field of interest in astronomy gives rise to many questions. The possibility of life on other planets, in our own solar system, as well as considering other systems in the galaxy itself. What is the fundamental moulding for a condition of life? Organic concept? Quasi-crystalline with organic? Broadly speaking, during the cooling down and formation processes, there arrives that moment in time which engenders a correlation of the factors which taken in the silicon theory, which is to say the planet Mercury, for instance, with its hemisphere of intense heat, that which is a patient on the sun, if you'll appreciate us, and the burning sandy silicold and the other side of deep, dark, murky colders. Here the condition prevails, whichever. For chemical analysis, mainly inorganic, and here's a third of this mass in the chemical structure, which you know, SU3, 4, 6, NO3, in its valency construction. With regard to Venus, it's a very different kettle of fish. Her carbon dioxide, which is in the clouds, conceal that surface surfaces soon to be revealed through an infrarebis which detection gave from either a Sputnik or, or the Polaris Polaris. That's the Latin for her, so don't get in on the civil the other side, would you, if you don't mind. You know, Venus has what Professor Grützlich Ein calls in his Leipzig, 1850 verb, Avischkeit Dunkel. This is where the possible swamp and jungle load of tangled greenery of Orphip's undergrowth which gave, or the theory of James Jeans, which will be tested regarding the tidal result of a nearby approach of a major sun. This came by possibly with a great philolop, which in a drawing out of our own sun, and possibly Venus came from the other. It gave us this different conditions, which gave forth insofar as a condition for life might have been prevailed or passed on a little later. I think Titus Bode's law, it's another possibility, where the mutual distances, two, five, eight, several, through to four, gives this cause effect. Hence the resulting decree of heat and light itself. But the laws of diminishing recoil, as propounded by Gresham, begins to operate here, and with the mass and momentum, with initial velocity, defeats its own end. Or if there's any left over, Jack. I think Adam Smith was the father of this, and who saw its application to industry itself. It worried Blake too. I think the satanic wills, which Blake's referral gave forth for this in his own expression of a deep thunder mold of the man. This is inevitable, and the advent of space travel with new and revolutionary fuels for the escape velocity of the th half C and M squared, which gave for it, and lunix and space probers with a flying source. You know, Jodrell Bank shows a superiority with Mount Palomar in this respect on account of optical aberration which is caused by atmosphere and its effects on the lens constructor of that system. Summing this up with a philosophical considerale, we can say that the human behaviour through the influence of society with environment, our researches will be affected to the better end of it. And I think actually when Aristophanes, through Demosthenes Gabies, for instance, expression said, the sovereign rule of assemblies and tribunals, which trample under food. Here the Senate and generals is crushing their own confounding. Oh, yes. <laughs>